Hello everyone, Lucas Eddy here with Klein. Today we're going to be looking at the new Eon goggle, super premium injection molded toric lens shaped goggle here for the snow conditions. This thing is super awesome with a really, really quick change lens system here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. It's not spherical where the curvature of, of all axes is the same. Here, the curvature this way is not the same as the curve this way. So it's almost like an oval in a way, if that makes sense. So what this does is it causes less distortion and it lets you get a really, really solid air volume in there, really big air volume and a really big FOV. So this is gonna give you more FOV than a typical spherical lens or a typical cylindrical lens where the face is flat and it just curves one way. So if you guys wanna know information about that, look up what a toric lens is, T-O-R-I-C. It's pretty cool, check it out. Anyways, let's get into this some more. We have a bunch of ventilation right here at the top of the lens, pushing in through foam filtered vents. And then at the top of the goggle, we also have our typical foam ventilation all through here. This is a huge foam area, as you can see. There's gonna flow a lot of air through there, really reduce fogging. And same thing with the side of the goggle right there. And then also the bottom of the goggle right here. So all the way around, we've got foam filtered edges and foam filtered vents in the lens itself, which of course is a dual pane lens for this. While we're down here, got this magnetic nose guard that's easy to remove and put back on if you want to, and also a debossed nose area there. So that's gonna fit around your nose a little bit more comfortably, around a breath box, for example, if you're wearing it with a helmet as well. So this debossed nose area here is really gonna let you breathe a little bit better. It's not gonna clamp down on your nose as hard. It's kinda gonna fit around it, but still seal it off so snow doesn't come in there. So that's our face foam situation here. Again, we've got that typical three layer foam with the face right here, and then two different layers there. Speaking of layers around this area, we also have a softer inner frame. As you can see, it's got a little bit of flex to it, and the outer frame is harder right up through here that holds the lens. So we've got a two-part frame there as well. Outriggers, obviously, to hold the goggle into your face around the helmet. Our large strap here with the silicone behind it, of course, as usual. And now let's get to the meat of the matter here, the quick change lens. And if we flip this around here, there's a little latch right behind this outrigger right there. You flip that, and then just peel the lens out like this. You saw I had to overcome that force of the magnets. Then there's a hook here, there's a little latch on the side of the lens right here on the right side if you're wearing it. That's going to drop into a slot right here on the side of the goggle. And you literally just let the magnets pull it into place. Boom. And then you flip the latch and now it's closed. Could not be easier. Super easy to swap. So when those weather conditions are changing, light conditions are changing, you can swap lenses really quick. You're not trying to fold it into some weird goggle shape and do all that. You're not trying to do a bunch of latches, do a bunch of complex stuff. So looking at how this goggle lines up with the rest of our goggles, at the time of this video, this is at the top of our charts. The Eon goggle is the top. Then we have the Edge, which is another quick release magnetic goggle. Then we have the Rage, which is also a quick release goggle, but it's a little bit uh, less refined without the magnets and all that stuff going on. Still a great goggle. And then we move into the Viper series, Viper Pro and Viper Regular. So we have that whole series of goggles there from really price point type stuff all the way up to this, which is the most premium, really advanced situations here with a lot of technology going into the lens and the construction and all that and a quick release. If you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, all that fun stuff. That's all for now. We'll see you next time.